Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox. Welcome back to another live stream. Uh, we're checking a new game tonight. This is actually just in a beta, but um, it looked kind of novel. <laughs> it's probably the weirdest survival game I've seen in a very long time, but this is Duckside. Uh, I don't know how long the beta lasts for. I, I kind of forget what the date range is, but it's uh, available on Steam right now if you want to try it out yourself. Uh, I think there's just a button there you can opt into the beta. Uh, but basically it's like, uh, like Rust, uh, but you're a duck. <laughs> so, I thought it should be something fun and wacky to do tonight. Uh, have a little fun playing around. No promises on success because uh, it, it is PvP. The other ducks are murderous people. Sorry, murderous quackers. <laughs> I played a little bit earlier just so I could get a sense of what the game looked like. Uh, and the the murder was frequent. So, uh, this may be uh, kind of a, like a messy, chaotic night tonight. Uh, welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. If you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. Thank you all very, very much for the support. It's greatly appreciated. And a special thanks to our top tier mistakes are made members that were highlighted at the start of the stream. Uh, there's a mix of servers here. We've got some European Union, some UK, some US stuff. All the US ones are all high right now in terms of like the number of players. So that'll be interesting. The US East, this one's full. US East duck side, this one's high. So there's 80, uh, 83 ping on there. I mean, the ping's not looking fantastic on these things. Even for the stuff that's on the East Coast. I guess we'll go with this one. It uh, says it's hot. Wait, is C it? No, CN's probably China, right? As opposed to Canada. Whatever. We'll try this one. Official Duck Side 4. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Matt the Duck be with you? Yeah. US players are probably high themselves. I mean, the people who came up with this game were probably high at the time, so it's all fitting. Welcome to Duck Side. So, um, this is a survival game, but it, like I said, it's kind of in the vein of like a, a Rust type game. Um, there's a lot of PvP with the other players. You have to run around and gather resources and build stuff. You can build, like, basic weapons and that kind of thing as you go. And you can fly, too. So you're not, like, limited to just being uh, stuck on the ground. <laughs> so we'll see if we can survive for a little while, though. I mean, I played earlier and uh, just to, like, test it out and figure out how the game worked. And I got killed a whole bunch. <laughs> it was, it was, uh, it was frequent. This could be poultry in motion, or your goose could be pretty... Yes. Oh, yes. There'll be a never-ending stream of foul play. There's somebody built a base up there on the side of the thing already. Uh, in addition to the ducks in the game, which are all the other players, there's also uh, human NPCs that have guns. Uh, I got shot by them earlier today, too. That was fun. Let the puns begin. I just, like, look, check out this helmet on the guy. <laughs> it's perfect. Comically gigantic. But there's also uh, other hats and stuff you can get, too. I saw somebody flying around with a top hat on earlier. Someone goose the to cook too many times. Yeah. <laughs> Human NPCs when you're a duck? That's foul. It is. It is. So, um, this server is really full population. I don't know what the persistence is like when people leave, if their base stays in the world and other people can attack it, similar to what you would have in a Rust, or or what the case might be. Being a beta, we're probably going to run into some bugs and stuff. There may be some performance issues, because uh, it's not really the uh, the full, full ready version of the game or anything. Oh, look, there's a dead duck down here. Oh, somebody built, like, right on the... Uh, on the shoreline. Somebody killed that poor guy. <laughs> the way he waddles when you run. This game's really quacking me up. Okay, I've got some basics. I don't have any rocks. Uh, I'm going to need those to make arrows, but we can make a bow for now. Uh, in the weapons. Oh, I need, uh, need to make some rope first. Oh, I suspected Fox was in fact a duck. That's ducking crazy. Oh, 
Oh, it's a baseball bat, too. Or a club, I guess. <laughs> it says club, but it looks like a baseball bat to me. Thanks for the super channel. It's cool. So you build a base and basic tools. Can you find higher level weapons? Yeah, so there are guns in the game. Um, initially, well, I can I can make uh, I can make a bow. It's just sort of a primitive weapon. Uh, we can make some basic arrows and stuff. Later on, there are guns you can get. Um, there are vendors in the game. So there's like two vendor areas on the map. And the currency in the game is feathers. So I, I gather like as you kill off other players, you'll find feathers or potentially in like loot boxes and stuff. You find some feathers, and then you can use those to buy things at the vendor, including plans to unlock other things you can make, like um, different tiered weapons and things. He's got a very impressively powerful beak, though. If you can knock down a whole tree with just his beak. <laughs> Who gave the duck his helmet invest? I don't know. That's a good question. Oh, and I did find out earlier, if you're flying, there's a, you can, like, dive bomb and stuff. So like, you just go to, like, a steep dive and he tucks his wings in. If you hit the ground going too fast, you take a lot of damage. <laughs> I found that out the hard way. Are you going to use the triangle method, like, in Rust, or do you not know yet? I don't know. I, I actually haven't, uh, I really haven't played Rust, so this is, like, a new experience for me in general uh i don't think there's triangular shapes though I, I think when you're when you're building pieces um hold on where's that hammer i made so i made this hammer and with this i can build stuff so the crafting pieces are pretty straightforward they're just like squares there's walls with windows um now these ones are all basically just made out of wood but um uh, i did see there is stuff we can get that will end up being like stone or whatever I don't know if there's metal. I'm gonna quickly whip up some arrows. Don't play Rust, it's just bad, and I have like 700 hours. Oh. <laughs> some people really like it, so I don't know. I have been tempted to try Rust before, but the, the whole thing of like constantly getting ganked. I don't know. It's a novelty for me to play this, but I wouldn't want to like commit a whole bunch of time to a game where I, I'd have to play it all the time just to keep my stuff from getting destroyed. Can you go in the water? Uh, good question. Yep. I can swim. <laughs> he then paddles around on the surface like a duck. Because he's, cause he's a duck. Uh, okay, 46 wood. It takes, it takes quite a bit of wood to build stuff, so I'm trying to gather as much as I can down here before we try to take this to some high ground. Is it wrong that you want peeking duck for dinner? Yeah, Rust is brutal so far. This doesn't seem much better. <laughs> the killing hasn't even started yet, Mike. I found out the hard way earlier, too, that the duck, when they're flying, can still shoot weapons. They just hold them with their feet instead of their wings. Somebody flew up on me, and I thought I was okay because they were in the air, but they gunned me down. <laughs> I was like, oh, lesson learned. The reason I had so many hours is from modded servers, no open PvP, but in general they had a hard reset server every month. Oh, I see. Killing started for you right away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I dig the, the walking animation, the way the duck wobbles. <laughs> I need more stone. Is there an option to not be in PvP? No, there's two safe areas on the map uh, around the vendors. I don't know if you can actually build there, but you, you have to kind of go out and do stuff if you're going to explore or whatever. Oh, incidentally, there is a, a text chat in this game. It shows up at the bottom left there. I can't control what people are going to say, and there was some vulgarity earlier when I was playing, so just be aware that that might happen again. There's <laughs> so many people in here. <laughs> Bet someone said poopy butt? Yeah, definitely. It was definitely poopy butt, and not some other words. Okay. I don't know if I could loot the trucks or not. Oh, I can. <laughs> Come on. 
pick the box. That's not working. How do I break this thing? No. No oh, health 10. Something happened. There we go. Jeez. Oh, there's a feather in there. Give me that. Oh, I got a watch, too. Gas can. So I didn't do any of this looting when I was playing earlier. I didn't really have time. I got ganked really quickly. I built. I did a little bit of building. Died. I had to like go find my, my base again. Got back and got killed again. <laughs> so progress was slow. Progress was slow. Hey, Nate, how's it going? All right, what do I get there? Vodka, oh sweet. I didn't get vodka earlier. Uh, I need to make some food. So we'll whip up some of this stuff into, somehow I make canned pineapple out of berries I picked from the trees. I, I don't know how that works, but that's that's what I make. Is that duck blind? Maybe. <laughs> duck blind. I don't know how to use this thing. Oh, F is the use button. Oh, so here you go. Here's an example of something we could buy. Blueprint for the IZH70. IZH70. 75 feathers. I have uh, five. We're close. <laughs> Very close. We've almost got enough. What was that stuff I got? Oh, sheet metal. Required to craft some items. Can be sold to a trader. I've got this watch. Can be sold to a trader. Or can be recycled. I guess the watch is just like pure loot. Duck season. Wabbit season. Duck season. What did I get there? Electronic components. Can I break a TV? Looks like no. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> I thought there might be something hiding in there, but not so much. All right, I gotta figure out where to build. So here's the map. It's actually fairly big. Uh, we're over here on, looks like, the northeast side of things. This is the full map. I mean, relative to the size of your duck, it's pretty big. Not, like, insanely big, but it's pretty big. Um, there's a box over here for something. Down there will be uh, the, the the human NPCs with the guns, I would think. kind of want to build up high so that... In order for people to approach me, they have to fly into my flurry of arrows or something. Can I build on top of this thing? Nope. Can't build up here. <laughs> Duck on a hot tin roof. You fly cool. Questions: Can Flox fly better than he drives? Oh no, no, absolutely not. As I was saying a, a, a little bit, just a little bit ago, I uh, oh, jeez, I'm in there. I found out the hard way that if you fly too quickly into the ground, it uh, it results in a lot of damage. Case no longer available. That was. Somewhere down below there, there's some stuff. But see that you can see the people standing down there by the fence. They're a little hard to see from this high up, but there's humans, and they're violent. They shoot first and ask questions later. Should probably equip that bow. Yeah, probably should equip the bow. <laughs> that might be an idea. Let me get into the uh, into the updraft here. Gotta, gotta catch a thermal so we can get a little bit of height. Oh, somebody already built up there. Dang it. A couple somebodies. I was gonna go to the top of that mountain, but somebody's already up there. Not surprisingly, I guess. If the server's kind of full, I'm sure it's gonna be an ongoing thing. 
Where's that bow? <laughs> there he is with the bow out. While flying. I don't I don't know how he manages it, but he's Duck's got skills, man. Bribe with vodka. I watched the there's a video they they put out of like uh like a quick tutorial of how to how to play the game. And then like they tell you how to make a bow, and then they're like, uh now you're not just a duck. Now you're a duck with a bow. Oh, he's got like the bow on his head. That makes no sense. Somebody's got a base down below there. It's going to be hard to find a good spot to build, I think. So why bother? We'll just pick any spot. Ah, oh, I hit the ground too hard. <laughs> Perfect. We'll build right here. This is our new home. See, so fly east and just keep going. Yeah, we'll just fly out over the ocean. It'll be fine. This is silly, but I'm here for it. Yeah, you know, it just looked like a like a fun, different kind of thing to play tonight for uh, just for the laughs of it, I guess. Still a survival game, it's just uh, kind of a different one. Okay, let's uh, let's do some building. I want to be able to set up a spawn point. Oh, this model must be placed a certain distance from restricted areas. Ah, oh, I can't even build here. All right, well that rules that out. We'll try this next hill over. I'm sure there'll be people that built up here too. I think everybody's kind of taking the high ground. Why is it all shivery in some places? Those are thermal areas. You can catch an updraft and so normally when you when you try to fly upwards, you have to flap your wings. It takes energy. Um, but if you go to a thermal, you can fly upwards and it doesn't cost you any stamina. You actually can recover your stamina while you're going up. Anyone else have issues with clicking menu buttons? You mean like in the game or somewhere else? Yeah, this, this guy's totally on quack. Come on. I've kind of gathered a lot of materials. I guess I should I should probably focus on building something so I can get a respawn point down. That way if I die I don't get uh I don't have to start like all over again completely. What? What? Come on. Eh, son of a... Alright. I already screwed up. Does that carry a weapon? Yeah, I have a bow right now. So if I took the bow out, you'd see him carrying that. It's, it's not a very convincing weapon. But he can carry one. So, just to confirm, I can build over here. There we go. Better. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, I'm out of wood already. Yeah. It takes the like, stupid amounts of wood to build stuff. Uh, there is also, if I go to my nest area, I've got this little idol here. It lets you claim an area as your base. So I'm going to want to build one of those. Do you have enough materials? No, I gathered quite a bit of wood, but um, each one of these floor pieces, I think, takes something like 20 or 40 wood. Your duck uses a bow. Yeah, there's there's really not a whole lot of logical stuff in this reads. <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely not based on a realism thing. It's 
that Quackmantium skeleton. <laughs> Who's he, Quackerine? Okay. Uh, I guess I'll put the door on this side. Because, I don't know, reasons? And then this side here, since it's um, going to be kind of open and stuff might have to fly up there, um, let's have like a window thing here. So there's, a, there's a, a horizontal window you can get like this, and then there's another one that the picture looks the same, but it's different. You get like, it's like vertical arrow slits kind of thing. I don't know which I should have here, but whatever. We'll make them both. Why not? I'm out of wood again. <laughs> Things like nothing. Ducks with bows IRL would make duck season very interesting. It sure would, yeah. And we can get guns later. So there's like, I don't know, machine guns and shotguns. It's like a machete thing you can make. Yeah, he's got an army helmet and a vest on. It's got like a like a little uh little flak jacket kind of thing. <laughs> I, yeah, the helmet's great though. It's definitely not like a serious hardcore game, but it is uh it's pretty novel. this last wall piece in. Um, I could make it multiple stories, but it's only me and it's going to take a crazy amount of material, so I'm going to uh, make it a single floor for now and just try to seal something off. Give myself at least some modicum of protection. There we go. Now we need a door. Which I don't have enough materials for. Ah, uh, more logs. What's this thing? Canned beef stores a small amount of satiation. Well, let's 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 eat that. Hmm, a duck eating canned beef. Something's wrong in the world. A quack jacket. Yes, it's a quack jacket. Yeah, yeah. Duck Dodgers in the 21st and a half century. Yeah, I know I gotta build a totem. I, I was trying to get the walls and stuff in place first. Because people can destroy your totem and claim your area anyway. So I'm trying to, uh... Just trying to get as much done and close it off as I could first. We'll throw down a totem. We can put down a nest and then that nest becomes your spawn point. Let's get a door. Oh, and the door has a like a an electronic lock on it too, which is kind of funny. Are there people in this game, or other there are people? So there's humans in the game that are NPCs. Uh, they have guns. They are very mean. They shot me earlier uh, when I was checking the game out well before stream. Um, and then there's other uh, other players who are also ducks flying around doing the same kind of things I'm doing. And it's PvP, so they can just fly in and shoot you if they feel like it. You know, or you can shoot them back. Um, in terms of weapons, there's only a couple you have here initially. You've got like a, there's a shotgun, a nail gun, crossbow, the bow, some melee weapons. Um, but I did notice that there were like a variety of different types of guns and stuff in the game too. Uh, let's use the door. Come on, door. Use. It 
It's not even gonna only be. Oh, I gotta hold on. I gotta put this this other thing down first. So this is the uh, the thing that claims my base for me. And once I throw that down, then I can throw down the door. There we go. And then the first time you open the door, you got a code that you get, you can type in so that um, people can uh, access your stuff. So just give me half a second here. There we go. <laughs> so now anytime I open the door, it just opens fine. But if anyone else tries to open it, they have to have the code. Okay, we need... Uh... How did you know it was 1, 2, 3, 4? Who told? Uh, we can make some clothes. There's the different jackets. Uh, rags can be used as medicine. I need to make the nest. Apparently, I, I need rags for that. How many have I got here? I got enough to make five, so we can whip that up. Uh, in the tools, we can make a um, stone axe. There's a metal axe. I should, really should have made the stone axe earlier. <laughs> I could have could have cut down the trees a little faster rather than pecking with my face. For some reason, I thought all the all the tools were metal, but they, they definitely aren't. I was just non-observant as usual. All right. Craft my nest. Uh, we'll get a storage box made so I can put some stuff away. There's no aiming reticle when you're uh, when you draw. The so it shows like the little circle that shows where you're aiming. But as soon as you draw your bow, you don't have that anymore. It makes uh, it makes shooting people kind of interesting. I'm mean, gonna have to get used to the aim in the game. Otherwise, it's uh, it's gonna be rough. What's that storage box? Oh, there it is. I guess it was still crafting. All right, we need a nest. A little storage box in here. Not sure what the box is used for. There's got to be a recipe that takes it, though. I don't know what these mushrooms are good for either. Again, I'm, I'm sure there's probably a recipe somewhere that I don't have yet. Got 48 arrows. All right, we're gonna need more wood if I'm gonna make a tool. So I want to get. Um, there's also there's a crafting bench in here somewhere. Where is that thing? Oh, here we go. So we've got um, a regular workbench that takes log, metal fragments, and metal alloy. Logs, rock, and vodka to make the furnace. To smelt the, the stuff. How much vodka did I, did I find? 18. So we need more vodka. That's going to take some looting, I guess. Alright, we, we need another tree to chop. Mix the vodka with mayonnaise? What now? <laughs> Hey, Cryptic, hope all's well with you and the family. How goes? Uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, thanks. Happy Thursday, everybody. Or, you know, if you're on the other side of the world, happy Friday. A duck with a stone axe? What? Oh, you're right. That is a little weird. I mean, a duck with a metal axe would make way more sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get a panda sign in this game? No, not that I'm aware of. Alright, craft. Cool. Let's make a stone axe. Oh, I don't have enough for a pickaxe now. What am I like? I'm shy on, well, both rocks and logs. I'm gonna keep smacking my face on things. Oh my god. It's really hard to target some stuff. Octopus well, Manny is the problem for future Fox slash Homer. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, he's a duck. Maybe he can't really drink vodka. I don't know. Definitely uses it as a crafting material, though.
Other players can take stuff from your chest through the window. Can they? Even though they're flying? Let me see if I can interact with my chest. I might have to put it in the center of the room. I don't know. I've got it on the side of the room where we have to, like... If they could walk up to it, if it's like at a level, then I think they could. But it would be very hard to steal it while you're flying, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I can't reach it from here. I don't know. Beats me. Waiting for the dog. Where's my door? My door's around the other side. I put it on the side that was closer to the ground. Figured it would be more reasonable. Uh, hold on. There we go. Okay, let's try the axe out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using the axe with telekinesis. Don't question it. That's a little bit more effective than using my face. Funny how that works. Yeah, we make the stone pickaxe now. It's gonna take a little bit. Set up a barrel here while we're at it. sheets again. <laughs> Using the force was so much better. I mean, the axe probably doesn't last forever. Yeah, it probably breaks down. I don't know. It, they don't seem to have uh, condition things on them, so I think they do last forever, maybe. I don't know. More wood. I want to have a stash, like a stash of stuff in my base, so that if I die, I can kind of remake some things, and then we'll go out and see what kind of adventures we can find with the humans. We all want to see the dog with a machine gun. <laughs> I'm sure somebody's got one. I think down below there. Where am I? Yeah. So that building down there is the uh, the trader. We can take the watches down there and sell them. seen animals in this. That's a wolf. Ah! Aiming with this thing is really hard. There we go. Pretty much if you aim the the point of the arrow is where is where your shot's gonna land. <laughs> Cut up. Oh, I got wolf meat. Okay, that's random. I didn't get to recover any arrows. That's weird. I got both the axe and the pickaxe out now. <laughs> New definition of duck hunting. Yeah, absolutely it is. Okay. I'm sort of hoping there'll be something that helps with, uh... Like, getting higher stamina. Because as it stands right now... 
Oh my god, those are not getting put away. They're just flying there. That's fun. <laughs> uh, as it stands right now, there's just not a lot of uh, not a lot of stamina. You use a lot of it when you gotta fly upwards. What kind of meat was I? I don't know. It was just I wasn't sure if I would get like a pelt out of it or like some bones or something. Instead, I got a hunk of meat. Killed an entire wolf for one hunk of meat. That's right, it's a duck-eating wolf. Can't help it, he's a carnivorous, carnivorous duck. Okay, more of this stuff, more of that stuff. What is this, wire? Required to craft some items, okay. Uh, I'm gonna take the watches down to the vendor. Electronics can be sold to a trader or, okay, so maybe I don't need to build with the electronics, that's fun. Uh, vodka, we definitely need. Stones, wood. Raw duck meat, wait a minute. Not recommend to eat raw and may contain parasites, may be cooked. Wait a minute, raw duck, I killed a wolf and I got duck meat, that's new. I can take the feathers with me, I guess. I can spend those, potentially. Okay, there is a, a campfire that I can make. Over here. I can have my logs, though. Uh, take half of the logs. If you know, I still don't have enough vodka yet. But we can make this. There doesn't seem to be a day-night cycle from what I saw. It could have just been that I wasn't on the game long enough, but I don't think there's a day-night cycle. Even though they give you a torch there, which doesn't seem to have a purpose at the moment. The duck meat was in the wolf. Yeah, like the wolf ate a duck and then I killed the wolf and got the duck meat back. That's a little weird. I'm sure it doesn't matter if this thing's indoors, right? Wooden building. Got a fire, no problem. Uh... Clearly, I have to put wood into it. There we go, it's cooking. <laughs> uh, I, I really, I kind of wish the, uh, I wish these things would go away. If I, maybe if I unequip them and then re-equip them, they'll disappear. Yeah, there we go. Fruit wolf brand chili. Oh, there we go. So there's a small amount of satiation. Okay, so I've got duck meat now. Put that out and save the wood. Okay, let's go see the trader. Here's what they're gonna have. I don't know if they have like physical items we can buy or whether it's gonna be uh, just like blueprints and stuff. Around the traders too is like a no no combat zone. It's a safe area. Secret box. Join the Canadian Canadian Cobra Chicken Air Force. That's right. Well, the Canadian Kilted Yaksmen just weren't available anymore. I guess their ranks were filled. So this looks like some kind of a recycling machine. Yeah, it is a recycler. So maybe you can throw stuff in and get. Raw materials back out? Oh, a crow. That's funny. Alright, different types of ammo and then resources. That's it! That's all the trader has? Ammo and resources. That's not very helpful. How do I sell this to him? Do I have to throw it on the ground or something? It can be sold to a trader and can be recycled. It's kind of weird that it's third person. <laughs> well, I mean, if that's what's weird about the game. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but there may be a few other things that are weird. I have no idea how to sell them. Oh, there we go. I was right-clicking, but nothing was happening. 
I didn't get very much for that. It sold it, but I, I just didn't get a lot. All right, well, uh, thanks, buddy, I guess. Ah. Mm. Eh. Surprised that didn't hurt me. This looks like Rust in Birds World. Yeah, that's exactly pretty much what it is. It's like it's like Rust but with birds. Or ducks. Yeah. I'd like um never being able to put this thing away is gonna be kind of a nuisance. Yeah, sorry, my internet's um, uh, my internet's being a pain again. I can't get no can't get no respite from it. it. Just keeps coming back. Yeah, I don't know why they made it third person. I guess maybe they just wanted you to be able to see your duck character. I don't know what the deal is. I mean, it's 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 like Rust. It's not a it's not a copy of Rust, but with a duck. <laughs> it's, it's still its own separate game. Except for 144p, there's no like. Is it really? Th oh, that's crazy. Yeah. So, like, my internet hasn't dropped off entirely. It just gets really low, so I'm only pushing maybe half of the bandwidth that we normally would to get a good quality stream. It is multiplayer. We haven't seen anyone up close yet. But it is multiplayer. And there are NPCs in the game, too. So there's, like, the vendors down there we could sell stuff to and buy from. But then there's also these humans that have guns. Uh, and they're very aggressive. They don't, I shot one with a bow, and he apparently didn't like it for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, but he took offense... And then he tried to murder me. It's a very unnecessary reaction. <laughs> Who's the duck? We're all ducks. This is Howard. Okay, let's go down where the buildings are. We need we need some loot. Gotta find more stuff. I gotta get vodka in particular because I need that for. Uh, Crafting a workbench. Not that I really know what I can make with a workbench, but I know I need one. Ooh, bullets. Yeah, bullets for the gun I don't have. Okay, my internet's back to normal. I don't think there's any people here. Former swimming pool. What is this? Painkillers. All right. There are too many possible puns with this game. I don't think anyone can keep up with them all. Wait, can I break these things down? Are you breakable? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't show a hit point total anyway. Let's 
Same thing with these things. Oh, there's a barrel there. The barrels I know I could break. This looks quacktastic. Yeah, this isn't Quake, this is Quack. Wait a minute, that thing's under the ground. How do we get down there? Ah! <laughs> Found the guys with the guns, for the record. You think he saw me? I killed one. Ah! Yeah, get wrecked. Ooh, what do you have? Hunter's license? <laughs> oh boy. It'd be nice if one of them had a gun I could take. A battery. I don't know what my carry limit is, but... Ah! Ah! What's this? Bandage. I need that. Okay, hold on. F2... Heal me up. Oh, stream crashed on people? Nah. You know, again, after the internet kind of went back to normal, that's when people got the boot. Good times. Darn YouTubes. Come on, jerk. Oh, I think it was a groin shot. <laughs> Suck it, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's got a crossbow. Open more feathers. <laughs> what do I do with the hunting license? Maybe I could just sell them or something. Okay, we've got a rifle body. We've got uh, iron arrows, metal fragments, a blueprint. Got a fancy jacket I can wear now. Uh, how do we use the blueprint? Use it to learn the crafting item. So, which one is it? Some sort of a weapon. IZH 43. Okay, I can craft an IZH-43, whatever that is. It's a gun of some sort. Got 19 shots left with this thing. Is this a survival game? It is, yeah. It's uh, it's kind of a wacky survival game, obviously, because you're playing as a duck. Uh, but it is like a survival crafting game. It's kind of like Rust in, in its um, in its presentation. So there must be another change room on the other side. Let's go over there. Uh, it is PvP, so if you find other ducks in the world, you can uh, you can shoot them or kill them or whatever. I'm assuming if we kill them, we get their feathers, and then we can, the feathers act as currency in the game. That's a medical kit. I want that. More bandages. Yeah. Is that a Soviet shotgun? Oh, uh, maybe. I know nothing. I know nothing. Oh, 
But were all the people hiding on the other side? I guess they were. Probably because this container's empty. I think somebody already got this one. <laughs> Alright. At least I went first to the side that had stuff. Let's go take this stuff back to my base so I don't lose it. Uh, yeah, it's PvE and PvP. So, like, those, um, those humans I was just fighting, those are obviously, P uh, NPCs. Just PvE stuff. Oop, there's a duck down there. I think I heard somebody shoot at me, too. I don't know if there's arrow drop or by how much either. TBD, I guess. Oh, I got him! <laughs> duck. What's he got? Ooh, he had good stuff. He's been looting from people. He's gonna come back. He's gonna want vengeance. Okay, he killed one duck, we killed him, we got both of their stuff. And I feel like that's a good trade-out. Uh, I'm obviously going to need more space for stuff. So where did my... Why did my bow get switched out for the stone pick? That's weird. Stone pick, stone axe. Okay, I'm going to make another box, I guess. So we're going to need to be able to store more things. Big stash requires metal fragments. I was one aggressive player to be coming at you like, yeah, he didn't realize that I had the high ground. He couldn't win, Anakin. The problem with the window placement is they're actually kind of... You can't crouch down, so they're they're actually kind of high up, really. Oh, wait. I guess when you're aiming, it's a little better. Or, no, they're not high up. I mean, they're low down, but you know what I mean. So if I'm, if I'm fighting somebody who's like trying to fly at my base out here, you gotta get awfully close to the side to be able to shoot at them, I think. Uh, okay, let's place this thing. Hunter's license. Revenge is accomplished. Count of three. I don't know what to do with these. Spare parts can be sold to the trader. Duck down. Using a down jacket or you can ask for forgiveness from higher powers. <laughs> Mobile phone sold to a trader. Uh, I can leave a bow here. I don't need multiple pickaxes. Or multiple bows for that matter. Burlap? Truck components we can sell. Car battery we can sell. 30 metal fragments. Okay, I needed those for crafting something. Rifle body. Uh, Painkillers, I guess we'll leave those. Nails, that's fun. I'll leave the iron arrows for the moment. We've got 70, 71 of the wooden arrows the mo for right now. Okay, I've got all the vodka I need to make the smelter. Or the furnace, whatever. So we'll get one of those going. 
It's a ducky duck world of it is. Literally, I've got a, I got some cooked duck right here. Fried duck meat. <laughs> it's literally duck eat duck. More fiber, uh, wood, watch I can sell. This is an extra stone axe that can stay here. So at least if I die, I've got, I've got, I've already got some stuff, you know, like, I won't be completely helpless, just mostly helpless. I want to get that rifle made. Oh yeah, there's the furnace. Um, use. Right over by the door, I guess? I don't know if they get, hopefully they can't loot through walls. That would really suck. Open. Okay, so in here I'm sure I can smelt the metal that I mined up earlier. Turn it into something else. Probably turns it into metal fragments, actually. Uh, but here's the metal debris. Throw this in here with some metal debris and we'll see what happens. We smelt it in the furnace. Oh, yeah, okay, so it turns it into metal fragments. That's good. And then metal fragments are used to make a few things. So, oh, there's the gun, the double barrel shotgun. So it needs um, 80 metal fragments, two pipes, and five metal alloys. I don't have the metal alloys and stuff. Um, logs are open, metal fragments. Ooh, I can make a crossbow. I can make a sawed off shotgun. <laughs> oh my god. Ducks, are, ducks aren't omnivores that eat anything bigger than bugs. Chickens are. Yeah. Yeah, ducks don't have the pecking power. I guess we should make the crossbow so I can upgrade from the bow. Oh, I got charcoal, too. Okay. Um, let's focus on the crafting bench, though, first, if I can. So, I need metal alloy. I don't know how to get metal alloy. So there's three levels of the crafting bench, and then we also have a research table. Again, metal alloys. How do we make metal alloys? Note to self, never angry a duck. That's right. Sheet metal. Nails. Wire. Yeah, I'm really wondering how to make that alloy now. Got some feathers. Good chunk of them, actually. More vodka. You have ducks, but they're runner ducks. So they don't do a lot of flying, they just run around. Metal alloy. I wish there was something that would tell me how to make it. Um, I could make metal tools, but I'm not going to worry about those at the moment, I don't think. Oh, I, got, I have space problems. I need to make another box. I can make a big stash, actually. Oh, I need that requires a level 1 workbench. Great. You've been lurking, and you're just so confused. Well, it's basically like your standard survival game. Um, spawn in, gather basic materials to build the basic structure uh, and tools and stuff, and then build a workbench to make more complex structures. It's getting smoky in here. Okay, no, it's, it kind of went away. <laughs> I just don't know how to get all the materials just yet. So I figured out how to make metal fragments, so we got that. Um, I need to figure out how to make the alloy. Assuming there's got to be, like, multiple types of metal I can put in, this, in the, the furnace or something. Let's put painkillers in here. What is this here? Soda stores a small amount of satiation.
Thick alloys from scrapping material or you buy from Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, well, let's go... Um, I'm going to put this in here so I don't lose it. Let's fly down to the vendor and uh, see what happens when we scrap something. we got a couple things we can scrap. Okay. Uh, let's scrap a watch. Yep. Okay, we got alloys and springs. Oh, oh, I didn't grab the springs fast enough. It turned them into metal fragments. Uh, what about spare parts? More alloy. Okay, that got me two alloy. I guess I'll, let's just get alloy. Doesn't seem like the vendor has much to uh, sell me anyway, so might as well just get get all the different alloys. There we go. That could be five. Sweet. Okay, now we can build the um, the tier one bench. I'm having regrets about building at the top of a hill. <laughs> it takes a lot to get back up there all the time. You call out on that phone. You ever just radio in for some uh, some air support or something? Yeah, going downhill is easy. You just dive the whole way down, but... Getting seven days to die vibes for some... Well, there's no zombies in this. It's just humans and ducks. At least from what I've seen. I mean, there's definitely zombies, but... Oh, and wolves. There's also wolves. Okay, so we want this now. I hear a helicopter. I don't see it though. Oh, it says new cargo drop. Oh, okay, they fly over and drop resources. Well, that's just south of me. <laughs> I'm trying to like cluster things in the middle so it's not like close to the window where someone's gonna grab it. Oh, clipping bad. There we go. What do we got in here? Didn't like uh, it. Didn't it unlock anything new except that there's some stuff that I can craft now that needed the crafting bench to make. Um, five alloys, two pipes. I don't know. I didn't get any pipes, did I? Got three alloy left. Let's make a sh sawed off shotgun. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to have a duck with a sawed off shotgun? Oh, I probably should have made the crossbow, actually. Um, I have rope here somewhere. There we go. Let's make a crossbow. Craft that too. Imagine Lab PVE servers. It's hard to say. This is just the beta for this game. I haven't. I don't really know what their intention is on launch in terms of like the number of players on a given server or anything of that nature. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I need uh need ammo for that thing. Those are nails. Pistol ammo, assault rifle, nails. All right. Well, we won't be firing that thing in the near future. I guess I'll leave it here. No sense dying with something that I actually can't shoot. 
So crossbow does 70 damage compared to the 50 for the bow. Setting range, 40 meters. Oh, it does have durability. Do the tools have it too? No. So it looks like the, the weapons have durability, but the tools don't. Great, you have a gun, no, I won't. Well, I mean, it's yeah, classic, you know. That's how it goes. Nope, nope, keep that. Let's go ahead and eat the duck meat. Mmm, that's delicious duck right there. I've got a bomber jacket. I want to be able to make some of this other stuff, but I, I think, again, I, I have to get plans or something for that stuff. Because in the clothes, I only have two options. I have the bomber jacket or the track the tracksuit jacket. Blocks 5% of damage, blocks 7%. So it's slightly higher damage resistance from that jacket. Workbench level 2 requires a whole lot of feathers, a bunch of metal fragments, metal alloy. So we'll definitely have to do more looting to get the alloy. And then the research tables, logs, metal fragments, metal alloy. Oh, I can make the research table. I think. Maybe not. Did I use all the logs up? Okay, I don't have enough to make the make the research table. I gotta get logs. Let's turn this back on. We'll let it keep smelting while I'm out doing my thing. Oh yeah, that's a that's hopefully gonna be a little bit better for shooting at people than the bow, because the bow was actually really challenging to aim. I found. a saw or something. What the heck is that? A chainsaw? A circular saw. No. <laughs> of course it's a circular saw, not a chainsaw. Oh my lord. I really want this to stop. Somebody got the supplies that were down here, so I can't get those. Um, there's another encampment over here we could maybe clean out. Ooh. And the camera right here. What's the range on this crossbow like? Haha, <laughs> he got like right around the bend. Ow! Son of a oh my god. I I can't shoot. I think I'm getting disconnected. <laughs> I can't do anything. These guys are still hunting me, but I can't shoot. Maybe the whole server crashed. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got a big string of errors. Hopefully it will rejoin to the same server if I just click resume. Please don't have killed me, like, down there with all my stuff. Alright, we're fine. Oh, military installation down here. Ah, oh, man. Oh, I got another guy shooting. Oh, he's in the bushes. Ah! Okay, time to go. Go, go, go! I need to get the high ground. Oh, crap, that sucked. Turns out machine guns are better than, uh... Better than crossbows, potentially.
At last, I can get to a high ground point like this, where they can't reach me. I can't shoot again! Oh, the server's crashing again. Duck it? Yeah. Dag nab it. Come on. I don't know if it's my game that's crashing, like my game client, or if it's the uh, the server. Whatever it is, it's bad news bears. Driver timer, threshold, remote, blah, blah, blah. Game direct driver. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try closing the game out and relaunching it. Sorry, the screen goes black for a second. I'm going to relaunch it and see if it uh, if it helps. Maybe it's got, like I don't know, like a memory leak issue or something. Mighty Ducks. <laughs> probably you with your log. Yeah, it probably is me. Where's the gangster duck? Uh-oh. What server was I on? I don't have the option to just resume. What was it? US East? Oh, no. Was it 5 or 4? It was 4, right? I think we were on 4. Please tell me that's the right one. Oh, it was four. Okay, we're good. I watched for the soldier guy that was up top here. He kind of he tore into me when I was fighting those other guys. Where you at, soldier boy? We take the helicopter for a spin. That'd be great. Ah! Oh my god! I'm gonna die! Go go go! Oh! I died. Into the, oh, I smacked into the helicopter and died. <laughs> oh no! How do I respawn on my? Bird strike, yeah, exactly. Uh, I gotta go down there and get my body back. Oh. Uh. Sorry, hold on one second. That's interesting. So, once you're in playing, it uh, you don't have to keep typing the code in. It just opens the door when you want to. Oh, look at all these guys clustered around my body now. Give me my stuff. Take it all. Quick. Come on. Go, 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 go. Woo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> At least I moved it farther away. <laughs> uh, there's not like a... I, I don't... Oh, no. I can't respawn on my on my bed for like three minutes and my stuff's just laying out there yeah you'll never get me smack <laughs> yeah that's right I'm, yeah, I'm leap, leap ducking my stuff yeah, ducks to be you oh the puns there's just there's no end to them is there so, so many puns to be had. I can just, like, respawn randomly, but I, I don't want to, because it could stick me, like, all the way on the other side of the map. Yeah, I can respawn at my base, but it's got a timer because I, I respawned recently there, so I have to wait, like, looks like two minutes and nine seconds before it'll let me respawn there. Bo! Figures it wasn't even another duck that killed me, it was the, uh, the AI. <laughs> but they got machine guns.
Time to hatch a new plan. Oh my god. <clears throat> there shouldn't be a respawn timer for just this instance. Well, there uh, there wasn't when I first died. It's just that because I died and then I, or I respawned on my bed and then I died again so quickly after, now there's a timer. I'm a featherweight against those soldiers. <laughs> oh my god. Listen, they uh they murdered me with extreme prejudice. We'll have to send them the bill. Cause I don't uh I don't feel like that should come out of my own uh my own hide. Can you respawn near your corpse? No, it's not an option to pick it. You just, if you choose respawn, it just randomly puts you somewhere on the island. When I tried it earlier in the day when I was testing things out, it, it stuck me like on the complete opposite side of the map. <laughs> You'll beak them next time. <laughs> Yeah, at least I went down in style. We were flying and I got gunned out of the air. It wasn't like, uh... I didn't get shot by a primitive bow from another duck, at least. Alright, we're in. Uh, hopefully my stuff is still there. Ah, oh, again with this. Why is it making me do it every time now? It's so weird. Oh no, I hear gunfire. Is there a take all button? I don't see one. Ah, I'm getting, getting quacked again. It quacked me right in the face. Go, go, go! Woo! I shot that duck in the butt. <laughs> Oh, they're still gunning for me. I better get bandaged. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. What I got killed by? Somebody shot me with a gun. Another player got me with a gun. And I'm stuck. Oh, another two minutes in jail. Killer. Great time, McGee. Oh my god, AKSM. From 99 meters away, you shot me. Hot dang. Is she going to your tails on fire if you get shot down? Yeah. I'm just going to respawn. I, I have a feeling... I have a feeling Buddy's going to get my stuff, but... Where did it put me? Yeah, see, like, the exact opposite end of things. Oh, that guy's got a brick house. He's a brick house. Yeah, that's right, it's my duck tail. Oh, it's so far away. I should have just waited. <laughs> I don't want to just sit there staring at the screen waiting for the uh, the respawn opportunity, though. I should have done a better job of ducking and covering. There we go. A little more height. That'll carry us a little farther. Sooner or later, the bill has to be pit. It does. I 
All is calm on the surface, but underneath, it's going crazy. Uh, McGee's friends are also hacking and being right. Oh, that's fun. What makes him think he's hacking, though? There's, I'm guessing there's probably not a lot of hacks yet set up for a unreleased game in a beta. <laughs> What happens when you lazy heal? Yeah, I wasn't really expecting, uh... I wasn't expecting to get shot from so far away. That'll learn me. I'm gonna be very curious to see if my stuff is still there. Somebody's shooting a bow at me. Wait, a lazy. Well, I wasn't expecting a sniper. That's the first time I've been shot long range by a player. Uh, every other player I've bumped into has just had a bow. That's the first one who had a gun. And I didn't even see them. They killed me. When does the Wabbit Season expansion come out? Duck Season! Wabbit Season! Fire! You're despicable. Instead of duct recover. Yeah. So I, I don't even know where the guy shot me from. It was 99 meters away. So he could have been on one of the hillsides here somewhere. He was in the air, you think so? I guess that could be too. It wasn't the guy I was chasing. Ah, oh, they did loot my stuff. Dang it. I lost my crossbow. <laughs> I can see people losing their mind over getting getting hunted down by other ducks. Ugh. All right, hold on. Okay, I gotta reassess here. What do I need? Um, got that. Circus saw is just for the trader. I have my arrows, but they basically, they took my crossbow. I don't think they took anything else off me, actually. It's going to take to make another one. It took the alloys, I think, right? Let's see if we can make another crossbow here. Ah, I'm getting disconnected again. I think. I can't interact with the, my, my crafting bench. Oh, weird. I can interact with other stuff, but I... Oh, what's this? Oh, that's my campfire. Why can't I... I can't... I can't use my bench! No! <laughs> I need that thing. That, that, that was a pain I'm about to make. Crap. Probably scrap the circuit saw for a decent amount of alloy. Yeah, I'm hoping so. Uh, I guess until I can get a crossbow, I might as well, might as well use a regular bow. Oh, they took my bandages and everything, too. That sucked. I had some okay gear. It wasn't epic or anything, but it was okay. Vodka. 
Put the alloys and stuff away. Oh, that's so bad. I'm gonna have to break it. <laughs> that's gonna take a lot of hits to break that thing. Maybe, hold on, I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna log out, yeah. So let's, um, let's leave the server. And then try resuming. I think I saw something there that said something about official first and third person view. No, I still can't. I still can't interact with it. Oh, so bad. Well, I mean, I did say that it was gonna, likely to be buggy. Oh, that's gonna take forever. No, they, they didn't replace my totem. I don't think they got into my base. They, so they killed me outside. My stuff's all still in here. I can still interact with my chests and everything. I can interact with this thing. I just can't interact with the, uh, with the crafting bench. The quacks are starting to show. Ah... Can't even disassemble it or anything. Game was hurt where you might hurt yourself by making something. That sounds accurate. Back to this thing. Darn it. Kind of like that crossbow. Now, let's go get some more alloy. Ugh. What is with this? I guess because I logged out and came back in again. Let's get some alloys. Does the pickaxe do more damage than the axe? Um, doesn't have a damage rating on it. Yeah, it doesn't show how much damage it does, actually. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know if he can see my stuff when I put it in there. Springs required to craft weapons. Okay. You killed someone with a bow now, too. Assume now as you can't see his. Yeah, but I didn't know if he had anything in there anymore. Is this game all quacked up that it's supposed to be? <laughs> it's pretty novel. Like it's. I don't think it's the kind of game I would invest a lot of time in. But it's pretty novel. For a free beta, I can't complain. <sighs> that bothers me so much. Oh, boy. Um, I only got two alloy out of that saw. That kind of sucks. I could make another bench, I guess. Um, What was the... Research bench required. Metal fragments, logs. I think I need. I'm gonna have to go chop some logs. I think. 
I got the metal fragments. I've got the alloy. I've only got seven logs, though. What have I got in the, in the fire over here? Oh, there we go. We're set. Grab a research bench and see what kind of stuff we can unlock. After this game, Waddle, you play next. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, such a string of bad puns. Do slash did you ever play Oni? Yeah, I played a lot of Auction Not Included, actually. I played it for years. It's been a long time since I played it. Um... But I, I played a I played a lot of oxygen not included. This module can only be placed on can be placed in scaffold only. Wait a minute. This is scaffold! What are they doing to me here? Oh, you know what? Maybe it's this thing. Because I, I can't interact with this either. Normally there would be like base management options or whatever here. Let's pickaxe this thing. Oh my god, really? Followed slash creepy for a long time. Well, uh, thanks, Mark. <laughs> yeah, I played uh, I played Oxygen on the Clue for years. Like uh, several times a week. I just sort of expanded into playing other things. I kind of... I, in, to some degree, it was a bit of overkill with the, with the oxygen included. They don't want to have benches so close to anything they're clashing. Well, maybe, but it looks like something happened with my um, my little duck statue thing here. Maybe I can't interact with them because this isn't technically my territory anymore. Like, it still shows it as my home base here, I think. Like right now, I'm just back in the day when it was hard. Is it easy now? <laughs> I mean, they, it seems like they've added a lot more complexity to the game. Hit the apply button just minutes ago and already... Yeah, so it's, it's an open beta, so I, I don't think it's going to be too hard to get into it. So it resets the statue in death? No, I, I don't think it does. I, this either is a bug... Or maybe because I logged out or something? I, I don't know. The nerf slime lung to the point of minor irritation. Yeah, the uh, the germs from slime lung are really not a problem anymore. They haven't been for a long time. When they first came out, it was actually something you had to you had to pay attention to. Same thing with food uh, the um, food poisoning germs though. Was wondering if there's is there an expiration date on this beta? <laughs> I'm sure there must be. I actually I don't know how long it lasts for. Uh, let me go to the store page here and see if it says. Oh, that's the trailer. Uh, Duckside beta is now live. Check out the trailer here. Invites have been sent. Yeah, they don't uh, they don't actually list a. Uh, they don't list the duration for the beta. I don't know. <sighs> like the feathers in the hourglass, these are the ducks of our lives. After my diet time, gotta get up for work in the morning. Alright, see you, Alan. No, you, you can't really do any kind of like selection on your duck. You just sort of pick a server and load in. You can put other other equipment on. Like I have a bomber jacket on my guy. And there's like um gloves and stuff. Looks like there's some kind of armor we can get. If I can ever get this stupid research table plays down. I missed the rest of the joke. Oh sorry, hold on. 
Uh, maybe next time we play, we won't spend all time uh, spend all stream killing an inanimate duck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. This is the height of entertainment right here. <laughs> Watching me smack a duck statue. I tried to pick first. It didn't seem like it was doing all that much. So this one is doing you know, like 10 or 12 or point, point one two. Yeah, The pick might be slightly better, but I think it's actually really close. <laughs> Three hours later. I wonder if I, can I just build another one and put it down, I wonder? What happens if I throw down another idol? You can have Star Wars mods so you can call yourself the Mandarin. <laughs> Probably just drop a flame altar and dismantle the thing. What do you mean a flame altar? What you talking about, Willis? Oh, never mind. Oh my god, that was an interrupted joke. I get it. <laughs> Took me a minute. What's in the fourth slot? Uh, so the construction hammer is this one. So that's um that's in the number four spot. Five is my. Uh, axe six is my pickaxe seven is the uh, the research bench I crafted that I can't put down for some reason <laughs> this is what happens when you praise a false idol <laughs> Can I put this down here? This module can only be placed on scaffold. It's like it doesn't recognize the floor. It shows the health of the floor. Can't just I can't dismantle the floor. I don't know, something's broken. I'm gonna be pissed if all my base buildings for not. <laughs> how many wax to get to the center of the Tootsie Duck? <laughs> Too many, that's how many wax. God dang. Go steal someone else's base. Uh, there are fall physics. There are, yeah. So if you uh, if you hit the ground too fast, you uh, you take damage. You can't kill yourself that way. Might have been able to build a new base, but yeah. Well, it just takes so long to gather the resources. I don't know. <clears throat> I think when it comes to the base stuff, like gathering all the wood and stone and fiber and all that, that's uh. That's where the time consumption is. Just watch. I'm going to finish breaking this thing down, and then it's not going to let me place the other one. Yeah, hit the ground or the helicopter, yeah. <laughs> I flew into the tail of the helicopter. I only had one health at the time I hit it, so... Couldn't have done all that much damage, but... Can you aerial strike someone with a duck? Uh, no, you can fire your gun while you're flying, though. Or your crossbow or bow or whatever. So you are able to shoot while you fly. Her cake inside the duck, but the, the cake is a lie, and so is the duck, apparently. I just want to use my crafting bench. There are bombs in the game. I have primitive tools and everything, so you can't see all, all there is, but there are, uh, there are more weapons than this. There's like somebody shot me with an AK, there are explosives. I don't have any explosives because I'm I'm still uh, basically a noob here with all my cheap junk, but uh, there are explosives in the game. Just remember not to shoot where you eat. Ha! I'm 
Oh my god, this is painful. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's so slow. So normally there's a dismantle option. Like when you go up the stuff, I uh maybe if you're only holding the hammer. So there is usually a dismantle option on things. Yeah, so like I could dismantle my nest. This other stuff, not so much. Huh. We're getting there. Just think how long it would take for someone to try to steal the base. Yeah, I guess that's the whole idea. You don't want to make it too easy for people to smash your stuff. Although the, um... The explosives might be interesting. Or you can, like, blow a whole wall open. I, I just have a wooden base right now, but I did see somebody that had a brick one. I'm 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 worried that this thing's gonna break, and then I'm not even gonna be able to put down the other one. This long bricks only meaning yeah, but like all the structure things, like I can't interact with them, but normally you can. Glitchy streams and then just swinging at a duck statue, yeah. <laughs> like I told you, man, height of entertainment. You'll you'll find no better entertainment on the internet than me sitting here in front of a, a stone statue, smacking it with a with a terrible pickaxe. Might have to rebuild the floor. I mean, the walls and everything, like all of it. I can't interact with any of it. My chest I can work with. The fire, the uh, the smelter or the furnace, whatever you want to call it. Nothing else. Hopefully, if I break this though, it will uh, let me place another one. Get quality content. This is why everybody comes and hangs out on this stream. <laughs> For this this level of stimulation. Shooting it cause damage? Maybe. Don't really want to use up my arrows if I can avoid it. We're almost there. Four and a quarter health. That's the entertainment value of a fishing simulator. Some of the simulation games I actually really enjoy. <laughs> it's basically like doing somebody else's job. It's, But uh, sometimes they're fun. You know what? High quality content. Hit the like button. It's done. See? Thank you, Alan. Alan knows good content when he sees it. Okay. Please, please, please. I hate you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try logging out again. Well I'll, I'll try logging out and back in. This is this is killing me. You're killing me, Smalls, you're killing me. I'm gonna I'm gonna quit the game altogether. John Rogue with Super Chat. Fox did it. Yay! So after all that time smashing that thing, it didn't matter because, uh... Didn't work anyway. <laughs> Try repairing the foundations? Yeah, there's no option to do anything to it. I can't fix it. I just break the floor and rebuild it. Well, if I have to hit each floor piece that many times... But the problem is, like, the walls and everything, too... I, I can't interact with any of it. <sighs> Join server. So that was, uh, US Duckside. US East Duckside official. Was it five? Four? There we go. That's better.
We're looking at. Ah! Ah! Eh, crap, hold on. Like, it's still got my code for the door. It's not, it's not like this isn't my base anymore. I do not understand what happened. Uh, that's a real problem, though. Um. Shoot. Well. Oh, now I can't interact with the nest either because the statue's gone, I guess. Still work with this. The fire. I can access my boxes, but the nest I can't do anything with now. Easy energy's got you covered, yeah. <laughs> Magic will be placed on scaffolds only. If I have any, do I have any wood? I only got a little bit. Let's uh, let's maybe chop some trees. Weird. Um, I'll try building another floor piece, maybe like connected to this one, and see what happens. Destroy your nest to put down the totem? We could try that too, I guess. Uh, I just... I hope it's not a case of, like, having to hit the nest for an hour. That would suck. Might be worth just bailing and going to another server at that point. Or just bailing altogether, I guess. So, the nest has 100 health. Oh, I'm breaking the floor. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, the trouble with betas. Yeah, it's not even it's not even snapping to the original. It's like it doesn't recognize it. the setting can only be placed in your own base. Somehow I lose my base. Did someone claim it somehow? Yeah, see how this one, it shows, like, uh, the health and says that it's a foundation that I can disassemble it? Where this one just shows the health. It's like it doesn't recognize the building pieces anymore. And I can place the, uh, the swan thing out here, or the duck or whatever out here. I just can't put it in this building because it doesn't recognize the building anymore. That's heartrending. Ugh. Oh, it'll take me forever to break these pieces. I can't do that. We got it. I've been evicted. Yeah, something happened. Well, I can build another base and then move my stuff to it, I guess, but... It feels like a pain in the butt. Let's go shoot some stuff. Or get shot by stuff, I guess. Maybe a little bit of both. I don't have the crossbow now, so hitting stuff with this bow is going to be a little more tricky than it was with the, even just with the uh, the crossbow. This guy built a metal base, and for some reason he put his duck thing outside. I'm a duck with nothing to lose now, yeah. 
I mean, I got stuff up there. So if I die, I can't even respawn on my bed. I'm, just, I'm worried these guys are going to respawn on me and I'm going to have problems. Maybe somebody killed them all already. Pardon? What do we got? Another rifle body. Explosives! See, somebody was asking about explosives, we found some. <laughs> I guess it makes sense the military base would have explosives in it. Hello? So we're building a new base? I don't know. <laughs> it took so long to make the first one. I don't know if I want to go through the hassle again. Mind you, I've got, uh, I have an axe so I can chop wood a lot faster, I guess, than I did the first time. Um. Oh my. Which will be a problem since there's nobody here. <laughs> Maybe see if someone in game chat has had that bug. Nah, it's alright. Even if they have, I don't I don't know that it's gonna make a difference if I can commiserate with them. <laughs> Ooh, I got uh semi automatic shutter. Getting the components to make a machine gun, baby. Holy, how could it keep going down still? Being antisocial in a social multiplayer game—it's not really a social multiplayer game. It's a kill all, kill all the other people kind of game. It's not a lot of socializing going on. Oh, somebody put a nest down here. Be funny if he's the only duck online. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be hilarious. Seems unlikely though. Nope, see, people still getting killed. That's the stairway back up. Darby web feet afoot. Hmm. 
multiple stairways going up now. So it's a promising game or meh? Well, it really depends. Uh, this is not the kind of game that I would invest a lot of time in personally. It's kind of fun and novel to play it tonight. It's, it's uh, you know, it's mildly entertaining, a little bit funny. It's not the kind of game I would normally buy and then like try to commit any time to. It's been a good laugh tonight though. It's a free beta too, so like if, if anybody wants to try it out, just go to the store page on Steam. And uh, there's a thing to like opt into the beta and you get in pretty much right away. I feel like something's wrong here. There's There's like no soldiers here anymore. I imagine if I had come in here before, this would be full. Oh, I hear machine guns. I don't even know where I am anymore. <laughs> I'm never finding my way out of here. We're all gonna die, man. What's that? A drill? This is not a drill, people! It's where the gun left. Well, I heard the noise, but I couldn't have I couldn't have told you what direction it was in. I mean it's probably up in some way, but Yeah, huh, that's weird. Can't pick that up. I wonder if the server's crashing again. Nope. Oh my god, they just this place just keeps going. This is like the energizer bunny of bases. I'm gonna try to find a stairwell out of here. Ow! Son of a! <laughs> he's got a he's got a crossbow. Ah, oh, he's probably got my crossbow. <laughs> Crap! All that time running around down there. Can I even spawn on my bed? Interesting. So I could still spawn in here, even though... Oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, I didn't put the statue away. I still can't interact with anything, though. What a nuisance. I didn't even find any shotgun shells yet. I was really hoping I could like fire that thing off a little bit. I don't know what this is about, the Hunter License. Blast.
<laughs> All right, well, I don't really want to spend the time right now making another base. It's already 11.30 at night. Uh, this is Duckside. The beta is live right now. If you want to check it out yourself, just go find the game on Steam. Seems like you can just kind of opt into it. You get in almost right away. Uh, it's a little janky, obviously, since I just lost my base. <laughs> can you get locked in? I mean, if, if you forgot your code, I guess you could. That'd be problematic. Oh, man, look how far away I got under the ground. My body was, like, way over there. Somewhere down deep, but, like, way over there. I entered over here. That's crazy. Deep tunnels and stuff. Uh, I have no idea how long the bait is going to be open for, but it is free, so if you want to check out the game, feel free to. It's, uh, it's good for a laugh. I don't know if it's something that I would actually end up buying, but... Um, it's kinda, it was kind of fun to check out and play around with a little bit. Uh, I should be live again tomorrow night as long as my internet's cooperating. I'm leaning towards playing either uh, Manor Lords or Frostpunk 2 tomorrow. I didn't get to play Frostpunk 2 the second time. Uh, what was it, Tuesday this week when I was going to play because my internet wouldn't cooperate. But uh, with any luck, it'll things will work out better the next time I try to play. Uh, thanks so much, everyone, for coming to hang out tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you for the super chats and everything this night as well. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. We'll see all of you next time.